Gangs and movies, the two things this city is world famous for. Here they're telling a true story that's set to become entertainment. But like in Britain, the news media in Los Angeles has reported on more and more gang violence on the streets. That gentleman who the two were talking to over there is suspected, is suspected of providing narcotics to, a, uh, to an undercover officer. So he's being detained for that investigation. In an effort to crack down on the city's estimated 700 gangs, four times the number in London, the police department has started publishing a top 10 of dangerous gangs and the most wanted members. Should the Metropolitan Police do the same? The evidence is very clear within the last month since we've begun listing it that we're putting the top 10 gangsters who we've been identifying with the help of our partners in the federal justice system and whatnot in prison. Why do I know that it's a bad idea? Well, because I have access to gang members, and I, I know gang members. I know how they think. I, I know that they all say, this is the stupidest idea I've ever heard, because precisely it'll lead folks to want to be on the list or to stay on the list. Father Greg Boyle set up Homeboy Industries in the 90s to give those who want to leave gangs what he calls an exit ramp. It offers training, some employment, and even the free removal of gang tattoos. Its motto is nothing stops a bullet like a job. Even when they don't work here anymore, they all come back just to kind of get their fix, you know, which is great, which is maybe what other, what we would do with family. They do here, and it, it really is compelling. I came here because I just got out of county a week ago, and um, I have a lot to do and I have a lot of debts to pay off. And I know by coming here, I'll be able to change my life around and be able to you know, remove things like this from my life, and I know that It'll help me a lot in the future. Homeboy is like my family, you know, my second family, you know. All you guys are cool, you know. Gotta love them, you know. From South London recently, there was a lot of criticism when boxing was reintroduced to schools, but here, they're successfully using the sport to distract kids from joining gangs. Around half the teenagers at the heart of Champions Boxing Gym in the San Fernando Valley are involved with gangs, some of the most dangerous ones in the city. But when they come here, they're forced to leave their affiliations at the door. I have a lot of my, my rivals in here. I learned to, to deal with that because I could get them in here and I could get away with it. I don't, you know, I don't have to get in trouble outside or at school. What would you say to other 17-year-olds, perhaps not just in LA, but in somewhere like London, about being in a gang? Definitely, it's not for everybody. It's not for no one, nobody. I would recommend that they would, you know, try to change in their lives, try to go to church, try to be a better human being. Because for me, I had no other choice. I had a lot of hate inside me, so I had to do it. If your only answer to gang activity and gang violence is police locking people up, you will fail. And Los Angeles, that's the lesson that you should bring from Los Angeles. Suppression and law enforcement alone cannot solve this problem. Cut it. Cut. Back on the movie set and they've shot their scene. It's true that London and Britain could learn lessons from what's been labeled an epidemic in Los Angeles. More, though, could probably be gained by looking more closely at the city's mistakes. Matt Barbette, BBC News in Los Angeles. Matt Barbette, BBC London News in Los Angeles.